What's up guys, this is Max Square, and a few days ago I got a request uh, for a tutorial on how to organize stuff on Mac. Uh, files, folders, whatever it may be. So that's what this video is about. So let's get into it. So I've created a little folder here on my desktop just to show you an example here. Now there's nothing too fancy, I just created some blank stuff. Got item one, item two, item three, and then some folders here. Now this is maybe what your system may look like, may not be, but generally what you will end up doing is just kind of sticking files in a folder and then maybe creating a subfolder and then kind of putting more items in that, but uh, we're gonna fix that today. So now if we take a look at my Mac Square folder here, I've arranged everything into four folders. I can't count, that's five folders. We've got content here, which is of course all my content. I've got audio resources, and then I've got some design resources, which is all my logo, some fonts, stuff like that. And then images, which is all my thumbnails. And then we have video resources, which is my intro and outro, and again, some other things. Now, just before I move on, you're probably wondering why I have Z in front of everything here. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because it will automatically push all those folders to the bottom, so that content is on the top, because of course, Z is the last letter, it's gonna push everything down. Now, if you wanted everything to go to the top, you would put A, and if you have a whole bunch of A's, you would do AA or ZZ, something like that. So that's why I have those random letters. If we take a look at the content folder here, I've arranged things into 2013 and 2014. Now, I started doing this a little while ago of arranging my folders by screen flow, resources, recordings, and then exports. Now, under screen flow, I have all my screen flow files, so I can just open them up and edit them. Resources would be something like a preview of what I'm gonna be showing you, something like that for my lock screen mockup. I just created this so you could get an idea of what it would look like and this would be under resources. And then under recordings, this is stuff that I've downloaded from my old videos because I've lost the files and I'm not gonna get into that. And then some exports, which would be of course some videos that I've exported. Now you don't have to get this complex, I will say that. The goal here is to keep it as simple as possible. I just have so many files and folders and whatnot that I have to create so many subfolders like that. And it may seem confusing, but it makes sense to me. And here's the thing, you don't have to implement someone else's tricks. You want to implement something that works for you. Now originally, this system kind of jarred with me, but I got used to it. So now if you don't like this at first, maybe you can play around with it, see if you do end up liking it. But again, it needs to be something that works naturally for you. Now, even with all my systems that I have established and put in place, I can't keep up a consistent often thing of getting all my files to be exactly where they need to be. And especially if I'm just grabbing a photo from my phone, I just you know throw it into my documents and then don't worry about it. And then every now and then I'll just pop in there and organize it. And you don't wanna be a perfectionist that every little file has to have its own place with its name and place and whatnot. And I'm not doing this just because it sounds nice and it looks like a great idea, but I'm actually doing this because it's gonna help you dramatically. Once you get a nice system in place, your workflow speeds will dramatically increase. So once again, we can take a look at my demo folder that I have here. And one thing I'd like to point out is that you can arrange things by name and kind. I generally prefer to arrange things by kind just because it'll easily pop it into documents and folders and this looks really neat to me. But if you wanna arrange it by name, that works too. And if you've named them in a specific way, like one, two, three, and then subfolder one, two, three, then that's great. But the problem is if I did like Z item, it's gonna jump to the bottom and then everything just falls apart. Now, another thing I'd like to cover is naming files because that has been one big thing that I've been trying to get into place over the last year or so. And when you're naming a file, you don't have to be super specific, like item one that goes to this, this, and this. You don't have to be that specific. It has to be something general, and I love acronyms. Now my Mac Square acronym is MS, so generally with my files I'll do MS, and if it's like a logo, I'll do an underscore and say logo one or 2014 or something like that. Generally this will be in a 2014, so it'll be like logo 2014, and I'll just put parentheses around it, and then I drag that MS logo into there, and I'd put MS logo, and I'd put trans for like transparent background, then I duplicate that and say white. So that's just a quick example of what I would do. And again, if we pop into my Mac Square folder, you will see this being put into place. The thing is I have so many different variations that my names have to be quite long. So I have the MS icon in blue, which is a transparent background, then the MS icon blue with a white background, then a white with transparent and the list goes on. 
One thing I love using is underscores and parentheses. I do not really like dashes and doing a lot of spaces and caps just kind of drives me insane. And now because I am a developer, I know that you should never use caps and I know I'm using some here, but this isn't for a development file. And this is why I use underscores and try to use as little spaces as possible. And that's just habit and it's become natural to me. And again, whatever's natural to you, go ahead and do it. A few more seconds of my rambling on and I will be finished. I hope I helped you in some way and that this will dramatically speed up your workflow. And if you have any questions, please be sure to comment down below and I will do my best to answer your questions. I love to help you guys, so please just drop a comment down below if you have any questions. Thanks guys for watching and I will see you in my next video.